Well, filmmakers, welcome to another week's video. Kat and me are very excited that in this week's video, we get to talk about something that we're really, really passionate about. So, after binge-watching three seasons of The Great British Bake Off... We think we're qualified enough to talk about... B-roll! Yeah, so basically, we, um, we... This, this is called a B-roll, which is a brioche mm -hmm. roll, and we... Uh, guys, guys, no, no, not brioche roll, it's in B-roll. Oh. oh, oh, a B roll. Oh, okay. that's disappointing. That's different. Siri, help me. What's B roll? After some extensive research, we've come back and we're ready for take two. So, what is B roll? B roll is the footage that accompanies what you might have as your main footage in your film, so your A roll. This could be an interview or just the main topics that you're covering. And then the B-roll might be cutaways or uh, footage to help illustrate the points that you're making in your A-roll. Yeah, absolutely. 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 Absolutely, Kat. Absolutely. So as Kat said, um, documentaries, for example, have a lot of B-roll and they're very helpful. Um, if they're kind of educational or it's some kind of animal type of documentary, you think about all the nice little cutaways and zooms of the animal world and there's a narrator talking over it, that is, that is one example of a B-roll. Another advantage of B-roll is that you can use it to cover mistakes or different camera angles in your footage. You have to think of it a little bit like... No, we have to stop. How is he gonna cut this? How is he gonna cut this? Well, we can chop and change everything, that's, that's the what point. you think. <laughs> So uh, if you have maybe different shots that you want to transition between or if there was an error between like the camera and the sound, you can always use your B-roll to cover that and use it as a transition. Yeah. We never make mistakes. So, you know, so it, it's just... Ooh, that's why we didn't know what B-roll was. You know, um, my <laughs> best director, Yomo, Yomo. There. Your character, your location, <laughs> no one can <laughs> use that. So our top tip would be to always keep all of your footage, just in case you need future cutaways and things, um, whether you want it as bloopers or behind the scenes footage. Stuff like that can be really useful, especially if you're coming back to it in the edit and you need maybe a certain shot of something or something happens that you didn't plan um, and you can't recreate that moment. It's always great to keep hold of it. I keep thinking Al Gore's gonna show up. Yeah, that's right. And always back everything up on at least two hard drives. I know that might be, you know, difficult to, to do, um, but it's really important because you do. They like what they are like. I like how the para but I don't think we have a lot of B roll though from our previous videos. It doesn't feel like it. <laughs> I mean, we're always so professional. And, and weird. <laughs> and I mean, we always listen to each other. To start from somewhere. Oh, was that okay? I thought something had happened. Yeah, we always come overly prepared for every single video. Everything, like, yeah. yeah. And we never go off topic, uh -uh. ever. Ever. Oh, give a cup of tea. <laughs> Is that offensive when I do that accent to yes. you guys? Um, always professional. No. <laughs> Just say that. Just Me say and Quasimodo that. over here. <laughs> um, always remember to record as well. Yeah. Are we rolling on both? Yeah. I mean, most of the time, you know, even when Harvey's not here, that like our lighting and sound is just great because we learned a lot from him. So. B-roll, as in brioche roll. No. <laughs> <laughs>